<sighs> it was just a dream. Huh? Where am I? Oh, right. Fort Helencia. That Zane guy brought me here. Well, I guess they really are going to war with the humans. Jack, are you up? The strategy meeting is about to start. Huh? Oh, hey, Ridley. What's the matter, Jack? You've been kind of down since yesterday. Yeah. It's just that Leonard said that I'd turned against my own kind. With Zane starting this war, I've ended up fighting against my own friends. The world is starting to change. There's nothing any of us can do to stop it. Yeah, but still. Listen. We all have our own mission in life. Everyone has a belief in how things should be. Humans have human dreams. Elves have elven dreams. I have mine. And Jack, you have yours, right? I guess so. Protecting you! That's my mission, I guess. <laughs> if that's true, then I'm very grateful. Ridley. Jack, listen to me. I can't turn away from this war. Yeah. Okay then. I'll have to come along and protect you. That's going to be my job. Jack. Right! You said something about a meeting? I think I'll have to check that out. Huh? Are we ever going to get this meeting started? I'm all ready to go here, come on! Be patient. We're waiting for the guest of honor. Guest of honor? What's he gonna do? Give a speech? The guest of honor will be leading the discussion. You weren't so keen on the war yesterday. Humans change like the weather. Greetings to you all! Oh, I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. Huh? It's the geezer with the funny money! Hello? Is that the young laddie I met in town? Ah! You were a great help to me that day! Uh, crushing bones! Crushing bones! Lord Parsec and the boy know each other? Apparently. Lord Parsec, we should be starting the meeting now. I I reckon we should. What's this? A human girl? Ah, uh, yes. This is the girl who received the transpiration from my brother. Oh, I heard about that, I did. So then, you must be Hap. The name's Ridley. Ho, 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 ho. What a delightful young lady. Parsec the Fire Dragon. At your service. What? The old guy's the fire dragon? Now, let's begin this strategy meeting. What we decide here will affect the fate of all fairy creatures. Indeed, the fate of the entire world. But first, I must offer my sincere condolences to you, Lord Parsec. The death of Lord Seyfed is a great loss. Ah, you don't have to worry about him one bit. He's only sleeping, that's all. What do you mean? What's this? Don't tell me that the immortal elves have forgotten how our world works. How it works? No, I reckon I'll just have to explain it. Our world is governed by the great cosmic elements. You know that much, don't you? Wind, water, earth, and fire. We four dragons are responsible for watching over these four elements. The Cosmic Order. Yes, that's right. The Wind Dragon guards the elves. The Water Dragon 
guards the orcs. The earth dragon guards the dwarves. And as the fire dragon, I am responsible for guarding the goblins. Wait, but what about us humans? Humans have the most important role of all. They serve as the vessel for the twin dragons. We're a vessel? That's right. The twin dragons, the gold dragon and the silver dragon, keep watch over this world. Just as night follows day and day follows night, so the two dragons each take their turn as guardian. Silver dragon or gold dragon, one or the other always looks over the world and protects its order. But neither dragon has its own form. They have to enter a vessel before they can awaken. So without humans to serve as their vessel, the twin dragons would never awake. Exactly, me little lady. Oh, you're as sharp-minded as you are charming. Okay, so which one's in charge now? The gold one or the silver one? Now it is the era of the silver dragon. But the time of the gold dragon is close. When it comes, it will mean the end of this world. The end? But wait, does that mean it'll be the end for humans too? Yes. As long as the four elements stay unbalanced, then it's bound to happen. On the other hand, when the end comes, the four dragons will reawaken from their sleep and live again. Hey, that sucks! What kind of system is that? Oh, you can't argue with it. It's your destiny. Of course. Humans are destined to die. Algandars is spreading through the land. The cosmic elements have been thrown out of balance. It's inevitable. No. That has nothing to do with it. What do you mean? The dwarves of Earth Valley are being trampled underfoot. My brother Nogueira has been killed. But no one knows when Quasar the Gold Dragon will awaken. In any case, while there's no vessel, nothing will change. But there is. In the meantime, all you can do is play your role and follow your own convictions. You have to do your very best to fulfill your own mission. That's what makes you alive. Yes! I get it! I know what the old guy is trying to say! I doubt it. Sure I do. The way I figure, the Silver Dragon and Gold Dragon are like fate, right? We don't know when the Gold Dragon is going to wake up just like no one knows when they're going to die. So all we humans can do is go out there and do our best every day. <laughs> I think the little laddie gets it. See, I'm right. If that is the case, it is our never-ending duty to quash the arrogance of the humans, is it not? I reckon that's right, too. However... There is one thing that has been bothering me a little. And what is that? I think that Ophelion, the Silver Dragon, may be up to something. Ophelion's that guy you were looking for a while back, right? Aye. He's taken a certain human as a vessel. And he's controlling the humans from within Radiata Castle. What? The Silver Dragon is in Radiata Castle? I finally found out where he was hiding just before I came here. But if he's in Radiata Castle, then who is he? Do I know him? No, don't you worry about that. You let me deal with Aphelion. I'd like to find out what he's up to. I think it's time I drop by and paid him a visit. Are you going to Radiata Castle? But my lord, think of the danger. Oh, no. 
I'll be fine if I stay in human form. In any case, I don't have much choice. It's my job to speak to him. Very well. In the meantime, we shall all be working to fulfill our own convictions. Right. You do that then. Hey, old guy. I've got a question. What would that be? My father... Well... He killed the water dragon. Is killing a dragon like a crime or something? Huh? What did he say? So then... You must be Cairn's son. It's not a crime, lad. Your father was doing nothing more than following his own mission. Okay. <laughs> if you put it that way... <laughs> Jack, I think you should pay a little visit to Goblin Haven. Huh? Goblin Haven? What's that? Goblin Haven. It's the Black Goblin Village, of course. You should take Miss Ridley with you, I reckon. Take me? But the war's just starting. What are we supposed to do all the way out there? Well, if you go, you'll find out, won't you, lad? I think that going there is part of your destiny, Jack. Hmm. Well, how about it, Ridley? Yeah, I guess so. Let's go. <laughs> no doubt about it. She's a real charmer. You know, old guy, you could try acting more dragon-like. Jack, watch your tongue. Yeah. <laughs> Very well. Coco, I want you to guide these two to Goblin Haven. Uh, yes, sir. Right away, my lord.
This place really stinks. Ugh, what is that smell? That's the smell of fried toadstools. The black goblins are always eating them and making themselves sick. Toadstools are all they eat. The goblins get so sick that they never do anything else. Never do anything, huh? Kinda like Clive, I guess. Anyway, I'm going to go back to Fort Helencia. I really hate the stench. Okay, thanks. me let me go let me go already your name give me your name first I'm Jack Jack Russell Jack Russell hmm you're quick on your feet damn right now tell us who are you what are you doing jumping out on people like that all right son of Cairn my name is Gawain Gawain Rothschild you... you're Sir Gawain? Gawain? You're the one. You're the one who killed my father. Get your weapon ready, Gawain. It's time to avenge my father. Jack! Hmm. Gawain, you killed my father. Prepare to die. Stop, Jack. You can't possibly beat him. Sorry, Ridley. This guy has to pay for what he did. It's time. Here I come! Ready or not! He'll be fine. He's just been knocked out, that's all. Sir Gawain, so you were alive all this time. Alive, yes, and living in disgrace, wandering the world, never in one place for long. But what are you two doing here? Uh, excuse my rudeness. My name is Ridley Silverlake. The Silver Lakes of the Great Eagle of the North? Yes, sir. However, I recently left the family and decided to join the Light Elves. I've heard that there is war brewing between the humans and non-humans. Does that have anything to do with it? 
A transpiratation ritual was performed on me. There is a soul of an elf inside me. You... you received a transpiratation? I can't help feeling that my destiny is somehow closely connected to this war. Ah, yes. Destiny, eh? But... what about you? You wore the crest of the Lion of the West, but then you left your country, and now you turn up in this place. Well... Sixteen years ago, I lost everything that I'd ever owned. Lost everything? Damn it! <sighs> All right, you're pretty strong, Gawain. But unfortunately for you, I'm not finished yet! Jack, enough! The fight is over! I don't think so! I was just getting warmed up! He has a fierce spirit. He reminds me of his father. You can fight me as many times as you want, but you won't beat me! Damn! Avenge your father. I don't want to kill you. You didn't really kill my father, did you? Jack. Tell me, Gawain. Tell me what happened to my father. It's been a long time. No one has heard this story for 16 long years, but I'll tell it to you. Your father and I each led a brigade of the Royal Knights. We were comrades, we were rivals, and we were friends. We were trusted by the fairy creatures, and in the City of Flowers we were allowed to come and go as we pleased. Even the Elf Elder, Lord Zane, treated us as his friends. But then... Sixteen years ago, the Water Dragon suddenly appeared. Those who knew the old legends trembled in fear. But the Dragon had come to protect the Cosmic Order. It attacked the humans out of necessity, not hate. Cairn knew this as well as any of us. But he shrugged off all my warnings. Cairn struck down the Water Dragon to save his fellow humans. Because of that, the elements became unbalanced within him. He became infected by the Algandar's disease. In order to protect the Order of Totaos, Zane sent out assassins to slay his friend Cairn. No matter what Zane's personal feelings were, he was forced to act. The elves dragon had been slain. I knew what was happening, but I did nothing. I turned away. I turned away and let Cairn die. 
I'm the one who destroyed your family. I'm the one who stole your father from you. Soon after that, I left the kingdom and abandoned my family. I had helped murder a father and a husband. I could only pay for my crime by throwing away what I loved. You're a real idiot, aren't you? An... an idiot? Mom was as cheerful as ever until the day she died. After that, Sis and I lived together. And my father never really died. He was always alive, right in here. And now, look at me. More friends than I can handle. But... Hmm. The captain, your son, he never left your heart. Now did he? You couldn't throw away what was yours, and you sure didn't take anything from me. I bet you anything that my dad never stopped thinking of you as a friend, right to the very end. I'm sorry about before, all that stuff about getting revenge from my father. Jack. Okay, I guess we're all square then. Even Stevens, right? <laughs> Even Stevens, it is. Hey, of course. Ridley, I've got it. Got it? What do you mean? I figured out why Parsec sent us out here. He wanted us to meet this guy. Parsec? The fire dragon Parsec? Yeah, do you know him? Oh, yeah. We used to be old drinking buddies. I guess you won't mind me asking then. Me and Ridley are going to join the war against the humans. Why don't you join us in the fairy creatures? Jack, don't be a fool. But think about it. This old guy can really fight. It'd be a waste if he stayed here at a time like this. <laughs> the young lad is right, he is. The death of the dragons. The war with the non-humans. It's all part of my destiny, I think. Yeah? So does that mean you'll come with us to Fort Helencia? I've turned my back on my destiny for too many years now. I'd say it's high time that I faced it. Come on, to Fort Valencia! All right, now you're talking. Destiny, huh? Hey, Ridley, let's go already. Yeah, I'm coming.